Hi, and welcome to Life at the Mesa. So, today I have for you a brand new recipe. It's my panko crusted cauliflower. I'll be showing you exactly step by step how to make this delicious meal. You can use this as an appetizer, you can serve this on top of salads and wraps, however you'd like, but it's definitely an easy and absolutely delicious way to get in those veggies if you're someone who struggles. I'm a firm believer that you don't have to sacrifice taste for health, and today I will be bringing you exactly that recipe that will show you how you can combine a healthier choice with something that is absolutely delicious and will leave you craving more. One important thing I wanted to mention before we jump into the recipe is when choosing your sauces be sure to take a look at the nutrition label on those because that is exactly where some of the additional calories can creep in. One thing to keep in mind is the sugar content. So you want to keep the sugar content about 4 grams per serving because 4 grams equals 1 teaspoon and any more than that obviously you're having more teaspoons. So in order to keep this choice a healthier choice, be sure to check that nutrition label and make sure that the sugar content is within that 4 gram range. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into that cauliflower recipe. So the first thing you'll need is one large cauliflower chopped into bite-sized pieces. This was about 4 cups of cauliflower. Then you'll need half a cup of flour, 1 cup panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, paprika, onion and garlic powder, 2 eggs beaten in a shallow dish, and your sauce of choice. In a shallow dish, you'll add your flour and your seasonings, and you'll go ahead and mix those to combine them. And once everything is well incorporated and the seasonings are dispersed, you'll go ahead and set that aside. Then you'll add your panko breadcrumbs to another dish and set aside. From here, you'll set up your dredging station for the cauliflower. The order you'll be dipping your cauliflower is first in the flour mixture with all the seasonings, and be sure this is well coated. Then you'll put it into the egg mixture, and from there you'll transfer it into the panko breadcrumbs. I would recommend using the, your opposite hand, otherwise you'll have a big mess on your hands. And you'll continue this process until all of your cauliflower is done. You'll be setting it aside on a non-stick baking sheet, and once you're halfway done, you'll want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Bake your cauliflower for a total of 20 minutes, but flip them after 10 minutes, and once they're golden brown, they're good to go. While your cauliflower is still slightly warm, go ahead and toss it in your favorite sauce and serve them up however you'd like. I chose to serve it as an appetizer plate, and it was absolutely delicious. So thank you so much for watching. If you try this recipe out, tag us at Life at the Mesa. I would love to see how it turned out for you, and I will see you in the next video.